Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with a fun event. This week I am going to post three videos in a row on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday featuring Hero Arts products. So let's start with day one. Today I am going to use the Koi stamp set which is one of my favorite from the latest release just because it is so unique. This is a layering stamp set that gives you many different layers to create your fish as well as the flower. And at the back of the packaging there is a guide on how you can layer things one on top of the other. I am also going to use the matching dies as well as these uh, four ink cubes. You can get all these products separately or if you wish so you can get them in a bundle. And the truth is that if you get them all together it really makes things super easy for you since there is a guide at the back on how you can use each ink cube for each separate uh, layer of uh, stamps. So I am going to bring in my Misty and I'm going to start working on my fish. For creating your koi fish there are actually four different layers. The first one gives you the basic shape, there are two more that gives you details and the last one gives you the eyes. I am not going to use the first layer because I will be using uh, the die cut so I will get the basic uh, shape out of that. So I will uh, directly start stamping from the second layer. I am going to stick that on my misty and I am going to use the darkest of the ink cubes which is the charcoal. Now just because this is quite dark I don't want my fish to be as dark so I will be doing some ghost stamping which means that first I am going to stamp once on top of some scrap paper and then I'm going to stamp directly on my paper. So I get a very light uh, impression. Now I'm using the third layer for my fish and I'm using the neon ink cube. I had to stamp that twice to get a good impression. And uh, finally I'm going to stamp the eyes. For that I will be using charcoal. Now my koi fish is ready to go, I am going to use the matching die and run it through my Sizzix machine to cut it out. Now I am going to stamp uh, a couple of uh, lily pads because I want to create a nice pond, a little scene for my koi fish to live in. So I am going to use these uh, two Hero, Art, uh, Hero Arts shadow inks and uh, the first one is Green Hills, the lighter one and the darkest shade is Field Greens. You will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. So I um, stamped first the basic design with uh, the lighter color and now with the darker color I am stamping again on top to create the shadows. And uh, for the flower of my lily pads I started by using the lighter uh, grey ink cube but uh, I didn't uh, quite like it, I am just experimenting here so I will bring in the charcoal and I am happy with how the image looks now so I will go ahead and stamp the second layer to add the colouring. For that again I will be using one of the ink cubes that was included in the kit. I didn't want to use the neon ink cube to make it super vibrant but I am going to add a little bit of uh, shadowing on my flowers with some alcohol markers at the end. I used a yellow and an orange one and I just touched the nibs of my markers at the centers of those petals, a really quick coloring. Once all the lily pads are ready to go I am going to use the matching dies, run them through my Sizzix machine and then I will have pretty much all the elements that I need for my little scene. Now as you can see I have already cut out all the images and I want to create a pond for my little uh, koi fish. So I am working on a scrap piece of paper here, I am using double sided tape and the idea here is to create a shiny pond for my koi fish. So first I am going to cut out a circle. Now that I have my shape I am going to peel off the backing and I am going to apply some uh, fine glitter. The glitter I am using is by Nuvo. It is super fine glitter. It's going to stick beautifully on top of that uh, adhesive and uh, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to cover up the whole circle there. I'm just working on a scrap piece of paper so that I can grab all the excess.
Now I'm using a piece of baking paper on top of uh, my glitter and I'm burnishing with my bone folder. This is going to make sure that the glitter is nicely stuck on top of the adhesive and it's not going to stick anymore on your hands or anywhere else. A good idea is to run it through your uh, die cutting machine. This is going to ensure that everything is uh, nicely stuck. Now I'm using a um, roll there to make sure that my surface is uh, super clean. And I can uh, go ahead and start assembling my card. I'm working on a white cardstock that's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to use another uh, die to cut out a window at the card front of uh, my card base. I'm making sure that I am uh, placing this at the center of my card front and I have my card open. Otherwise, you will cut uh, the back as well. And uh, I have used two different dies to cut out the window on the card front and uh, a slightly bigger one to cut out the pond. So this is going to ensure that uh, you can't see the edges of my pond through the window. And I'm going to stick the koi fish on the inside of my card. Now you can uh, leave that window at the card front as it is or you can uh, stick an acetate on top because I thought that uh, the card just because it had that big hole at the card front it was quite flimsy. So I have cut out a ring and uh, I have backed it up with uh, acetate and I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card front. This is going to make the card front sturdy but at the same time you will be able to see through to the pond. I am sticking my ring on top of my card and now I'm going to embellish it by sticking down the lily pads. For some parts I used a tape adhesive and stuck them directly on my card base and for some other parts I used some uh, foam tape which uh, added some dimension on my card front. Now it's time to stamp the sentiment and for that I will be using um, a combination of the phrases that come in the stamp set. So I will uh, stamp at the front wishing you. And I'm going to use uh, one of the ink pads included in the kit and that's charcoal. And uh, since I am going to stamp the rest of the sentiment on the inside of my card, I want to add three dots there. And for that I am using this tool that has this tiny little metal uh, ball on one side. I'm just dipping it on my ink pad and creating my dot. And uh, the stamp set comes packed with uh, different little words that you can combine to create your sentiment. So for the inside I went with peace and harmony. So my sentiment completely reads wishing you peace and harmony. Now at this stage is uh, where I decided that I wanted to darken up uh, the eyes of my koi fish. I thought that they looked a little bit uh, dull as they were. So I went ahead and uh, went over them with my glitter black pen. And uh, when that dries I am going to add a white dot with my gel pen which is actually going to bring uh, the koi fish in life. And uh, the card is pretty much finished. As a finishing touch I am going to use some jewel drops by Nuvo. And uh, these are actually translucent but uh, they do have a tint on them. So I will be using these two colors and you will find links down below in the description area on those products as well. I am going to add some of those orange dots at the center of uh, my flowers. And I am also going to add um, a few of uh, the green ones. And by creating those green uh, dots, since they are so translucent, they actually look like uh, dewdrops on my lily pads. And uh, I really like the effect. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. And don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another video featuring Hero Arts products. Thank you all for watching!